I recently released a video titled Americans Won't Believe What China Built, showing some of the mega projects that China has completed recently, and two things happened. First, many Americans didn't believe, but it wasn't only Americans. Comments from all over the world said the projects were fake or poorly built, which is why this video is titled Foreigners Won't Believe. And second, many people commented that I missed some of the best mega projects here in China. So this video will cover some of the new projects that I've found and some of the ones that were suggested from the other video. Let's jump right in with number 10. China has been turning deserts into arable land. According to the UN, dry lands, including vast areas of desert, cover around 41% of Earth's total area, and China has only about 12% arable land. With almost no arable land and a vast population that needs to be fed, it makes perfect sense that China would try to find ways to turn the desert into usable land. Chongqing Zhao Tong University researchers have created a paste from plant cellulose that can significantly increase the capacity of desert sands to hold water, minerals, air, microorganisms, and nutrients necessary for plant growth. A 1.6 hectare sandy area in the Mongolian autonomous region Ulaanbaatar Desert received this paste application. The area eventually developed into productive farmland that can produce corn, tomatoes, rice, watermelons, sunflowers, and other crops. This is pretty amazing and if applied to other areas around the world and is successful, it could make a big difference in the global food supply, especially with the coming food shortages. What good is planting in the desert if you can't water your crops? That's a great question, which brings us to number nine on our list. Number nine is the South North Water Transfer Project. Many people commented in the last video saying they are impressed with this mega project and were surprised I didn't add it to the list. So what is it? The South North Water Transfer Project is a 79 billion US dollar infrastructure project here in China, whose objective is to divert 44.8 billion cubic meters of fresh water annually from four rivers in the Southern region of China to the more arid and industrialized northern region via three diversion routes. This project is pretty straightforward on paper. The government is digging canals from the south of China to the north of China. This will allow for the transfer of water. The project is massive and controversial because of the effects it will have on the environment. But despite that, China is still moving forward with the project. Up next is the Beidou Navigational System. If you know what GPS is, then you know what the Beidou Navigational System is. This is China's own version of GPS, which allows it to track ships and military operations globally. According to the website, it will be used for fisheries, agriculture, transportation, public security, and more. But don't be fooled by its commercial uses, it will still be used for military operations. Why would China want its own GPS system? Well, it makes perfect sense to me, because if there's ever a conflict, they will want to be able to communicate with their assets in the field. Since GPS is controlled by the US Department of Defense, it makes sense to develop and control your own system. The Beidou system consists of 35 satellites, with the last one launched into orbit in 2020. According to sources, it has location accuracy of about 10 centimeters, which is comparable to the GPS accuracy of around 30 centimeters. This is a pretty impressive mega project that started in 2000 and took 20 years to complete. The technology needed to manufacture and launch 35 satellites into space spans multiple industries and professions. Speaking of technologies needed to launch spacecraft into space, next on our list is the Eastern Aerospace Port. This one was new to me and of course I was excited about it because space is awesome. China beat SpaceX and Elon Musk by announcing that they intended to build an offshore spaceport for their rockets. The floating spaceport is being built by China Aerospace Science and Technology Corp, which will allow China to launch rockets from the Pacific Ocean. The spaceport, known as the Eastern Aerospace Port, will be situated off the coast of Haiyang City in the Shandong province and utilized for the manufacturing and upkeep of light rockets. Once fully functional, it will be utilized for building and sustaining rockets, satellites, and related space applications in addition to launching light vehicles. It will add a new level of flexibility to China's space program as the country's fifth launch facility. A new launch site on the ocean is something sci-fi is made of, and I love it. Speaking of launching into space, be sure to hit that like button and launch this video into everyone's feeds. Okay, let's move on to number six on our list. Number six on our list is a little controversial and I wasn't sure if I wanted to add it on this list, but after looking into it a bit more, it is pretty impressive. I'm talking about the Fujin, China's third and most advanced aircraft carrier. I don't want to promote the wrong things on this channel, and China's military buildup could lead to conflict in the region, 
But putting that aside, the new aircraft carrier is an interesting mega project. The Fujin was launched on the 17th of June 2022 and is China's first aircraft carrier with a fully indigenous design, featuring a catobar system and electromagnetic catapults. Experts say its new combat systems, including the electromagnetic catapult assisted launch system, shows China is catching up with the United States and will give it the ability to launch more aircraft more quickly and with more ammunition. The reason I find it interesting, besides the obvious reasons, is the fact that China is one of only a handful of countries that has the ability to manufacture aircraft carriers. I don't like military hardware or the implications, but this is really impressive in terms of engineering and technology. All right, moving on to our next project, which is a little bit more cooperative than the last one. And at number five on this list is the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. The China-Pakistan Economic Corridor is extremely important and basically started the Belt and Road Initiative. The project is a 62 billion US dollar connectivity project envisioned to stretch from the western Chinese city of Kashgar to Pakistan's Arabian seaport of Gadar, located near Iran and the Persian Gulf shipping lanes. The project consists of rail lines, port constructions, oil pipelines, and roads. It is a major undertaking spanning most of Pakistan and parts of western China. Because there are many different projects under construction, it is impossible to cover all of them in this video. But the main point is that once it's completed, China will have access to the Arabian Sea. This will allow China to bypass sea routes that can easily be controlled by outside forces. The project has been rolled into the Belt and Road Initiative and is the cornerstone for the larger project. It is a good example of what can be accomplished when nations work together for a common goal. Coming back to China, we have the Three North Shelter Forest Program at number four on our list. Many people wanted me to cover this one from the last video, so I'll talk about it now. More commonly referred to as the Great Green Wall, this is a massive project that is designed to hold back the expansion of the Gobi Desert and provide timber for the local population. The program started in 1978 and is planned to be completed around 2050, at which point it will be 4,500 kilometers long. It is hard to say if this project has been effective, but as of 2009, China's planted forest covered more than 500,000 square kilometers, increasing tree coverage from 12% to 18% within China. And it is the largest artificial forest in the world. There has been a lot of criticism surrounding this project because of the environmental impact, but despite that, it is still a massive mega project. If you thought the high-speed rails were impressive in China, you will probably like this next project. Coming in at number three on our list and beating Elon Musk once again is China's Hyperloop construction. That's right, China has been building a Hyperloop line in Guizhou. According to reports, Hyperloop Transportation Technologies will build China's first Hyperloop system in Tongren. A 10 kilometer stretch will be built and if successful could lead to a wider rollout. This has been seen as a significant win for Hyperloop Transportation Technologies over its immediate rival Hyperloop One backed by Elon Musk. Derek Airborn, CEO of Hyperloop Transportation Technologies commented, we envision that Hyperloop will play a bigger role in the Silk Road economic belt, connecting the region to the rest of the world. It will be interesting to see if China rolls out this technology countrywide, and if so, I hope to ride the Hyperloop one day. This technology is really impressive and I'd love to see it developed around the world. Maybe China can show the rest of the world how useful Hyperloops can be in the future. You know what else is really impressive? When you hit that subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. It really motivates me to make more videos, so before I reveal the top two mega projects on this list, consider subscribing for more videos like this one. Okay, let's jump back in with two really impressive projects. Number two on our list is China's space station. China is about to be the only country in the world with an operational space station. Because the US barred China from the International Space Station, China was forced to build their own station, which was just recently completed. On October 31st, 2022, China launched the final piece of its new Tiangong space station, completing its construction. The 18 meter lab module enables a range of scientific experiments and now allows the station to accommodate up to six people at a time. This is a truly amazing feat when you actually think about all the technologies needed to manufacture a space station and launch it into space. If you thought the Beidou navigational system was pretty impressive, this one should blow your mind. The Chinese space program plans to have Tiangong last for 10 to 15 years with the possibility of extending its lifespan 
which means China will most likely have the only operational space station after the ISS is decommissioned around 2030. Let's hope that the Chinese government is more welcoming to the US in the future and allows NASA to use the Tiangong station once the ISS is no longer operational. We have made it to the last mega project on our list and it is a game changer. I'm talking about EAST or the Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak. This was a project that was requested from the last video and it could be the future of energy production. Dubbed the Artificial Sun, China has been working on EAST since 2006 and has continued to set records. The latest experiment tested the Chinese Tokamak's capability to endure extreme temperatures over long periods. Sustaining a temperature 2.6 times hotter than the sun's core for 1056 seconds or 17 minutes and 36 seconds. Nobody has ever sustained a high temperature plasma for 1000 seconds before. This is an important milestone. Although this is not a fusion reaction, it is an important step on the road to fusion power. It is a long way from being energy positive at this point, but being able to create and maintain these high temperatures is necessary for fusion power and this is an impressive scientific and engineering feat. The first country that can successfully develop fusion power will dominate the energy markets and usher in a new air for humanity. This is not an exaggeration. The future of the world will change if humanity can develop unlimited clean fusion energy. So there you have it, 10 mega projects that China has completed or is currently working on. What was your favorite one and do you believe that China is actually building these projects? Leave a comment below to let me know which one you liked and which one you think will be the most important in the future. Also, if you want to see the first 10 projects, you can click here and see the first video where many Americans didn't believe that these projects were being completed. I hope to see you in that video. Bye-bye.